Hello Aquarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your connection, how you feel about each other, and what's going to be happening in the near future. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. If it does resonate, that's great. If it doesn't resonate, that is okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. But if you check out my playlist for Aquarius, uh, there's tons of videos there and one of them might be for you. I'll have it linked up in the cards and also you can just check out my playlist here by clicking on my username and scrolling down. All right, Aquarius, let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guys, messages for Aquarius in love. This reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Messages for Aquarius. It's the energy surrounding Aquarius. Bear, what's going on in this connection? Looking inward. Reflection. Solitude. Planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. So this is like the hermit energy. Divine timing. Faith fortune destiny trust in divine timing and we have inner voice at the bottom of the deck so someone's definitely being guided by spirit here listening to their intuition seeking their out like answers regarding what they need to do next uh spirit is speaking to someone's intuition here let your intuition guide you towards the right path okay so let's see, I have two decks. I'm going to use one deck for each of you. I'll have you on this side, Aquarius, and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Aquarius. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection for Aquarius? So here I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel for Aquarius. One more. What is Queries thinking or feeling about this person or this connection? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Trust in divine timing because something here hasn't progressed in the way that you hoped. An offer hasn't arrived or perhaps there's just delays here. Nine of Swords Reverse. This is about overcoming fear, overcoming anxiety, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, no longer being held back by fear. Five of Swords Reverse. Nice. Okay. So this is, um, okay. So the message I'm getting is that some of you, there was a loss here of some sort. There could have been a bad fight, some sort of conflict that affected your connection with this person. I'm getting like a frustration, a frustration at the way that things have developed here. Frustration at something not happening. I feel like this affected you a lot at one point. You're coming out of that energy, you know, maybe because you see a possible reconciliation in the horizon or because your intuition is speaking to you or some something else. We'll see. I'm, I am going to clarify all of those. But first, let me put down your person's energies. OK, tell me about Aquarius's person. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Spirit. Your energy is at this time. Okay, that was fast. We have the moon reverse, Pisces energy, and the star reverse. There you are, Aquarius. Aquarius energy. Tell me more about this person. What are their energies towards Aquarius? What are they thinking or feeling? Seven of Swords. I find it fascinating that I have the moon reverse and the seven of swords.
This is someone being sneaky, strategic. And the moon reverse is about someone, something that's being hidden, coming to the surface, a revelation, a an illusion being seen very clearly. And then I find it funny that it's an illusion seen very clearly and then I have the moon shining brightly on this person. Let me show you. Do you see what I'm seeing there? <laughs> it's like this person here, this woman is looking down at the moon, right? And the moon is shining brightly on someone here. Okay, so let's clarify this before I get ahead of myself. First, let me get some oracles for both of you. I'm using the animal spirit here. Tell me more about Aquarius and this other person. Tell me more about Aquarius and this other person. Tell me more about the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection. The spider, creativity, effort, work. Crocodile, okay. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me, okay. The whale. Okay, there's depth. Again, with being underneath the surface, you know. It's like hidden emotions or or a, 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 a lot of emotion that's not really being expressed this person has been through a lot this whale energy they could be older um, because of everything they've been through there's an, a depth to them but I'm also picking up you know with the whale sometimes I get like suppressed emotions like someone that has buried their feelings very deeply here so let's see, let's clarify. Tell me more about Aquarius. Now Aquarius, like I said, I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Show me clarity for Aquarius. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Seven of Wands, the Hierophant reversed, Taurus energy with the Hierophant reversed, resistance, courage, standing up for what you believe in, fighting back. Why the Hierophant reversed? Why the Hierophant reversed? Six of Pentacles reverse. Something here wasn't fair to you or wasn't balanced. You were probably putting in a lot more effort than someone else. Maybe you were willing to fight for this and someone else wasn't. Regardless, with the higher font reverse, I feel like there was something broken here, a broken commitment, or maybe an offer of commitment that never really came with the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the higher font reverse. Something here wasn't able to get created or manifested. Why the Nine of Swords reverse? Why is the Nine of Swords reverse here? Again, I feel like this affected you at one point. Nine of Cups reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Six of Swords. Knight of Swords reverse. You're leaving this behind. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are leaving the drama behind, the conflict behind. You weren't able to get something that you wanted or perhaps you got your wish, but it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. There was tainted in some way or there was a compromise. Maybe someone deceived you with the Knight of Swords reversed. You know, I do have the Seven of Swords and the Moon reversed on the, on the other side here. I feel like a lot of you, okay, I just got the message. Some of you threw yourselves into like work, hobby, 
business. Regardless, you moved you moved on here. You moved forward or you left something behind. Tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Why is the Five of Swords reverse? The Empress. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Six of Wands. Interesting. Um, success, abundance, creativity, growth, expansion. All of it is here. And I feel like a lot of you did this on your own. Maybe this is the, the place in your life that you're in right now. Very successful. Very, you know, everything you touch, is, you touch turns to gold. Um, you have there's worth value here with you this could also be what someone wants with you or someone wants you now or someone wants to reconcile with you no longer fight with you because you're in empress energy tell me more about the five of swords reverse you know if this isn't a reconciliation it could be that someone you know whatever loss or failure or deception or conflict you experienced hold on it hasn't affected you uh negatively like you were you've been able to to supersede or or you know surpass this is basically what i, I want to say can i get one more for the five of swords reverse yeah justice libra energy you've received justice you you the, you know this could also be someone wanting to make things right because there's value here with you so take it as it resonates this could be that you have rebalanced things for yourself made things happen for yourself the justice has been a part of this cycle for you you know you've received justice in some way uh, i'm also seeing someone that wants justice that wants to rebalance the situation wants to make things right because they see success now or they see how you are you know like it's like they recognize your worth now okay so let's see let's see more about your person tell me more about this other person Show me clearly these other person's energy. The person that Aquarius is dealing with. I want to know what is going on with this other person here. Why is the moon reverse? Let's start there. Why is the moon reverse? This is something again that has come to the surface. How what was hidden is no longer hidden. What was an illusion is no longer an illusion. Tell me about the moon reverse. This one. Yeah, Seven of Cups reverse. So whatever was, uh, you know, whatever someone's imagine, whoever's imagination or whatever confusion there was, whatever cup or options there were, I feel like there's no longer any confusion. There's clarity about what maybe was too good to be true at one point. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. Tell me more about the moon reverse. Tell me more about the moon reverse. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Something was too good to be true. Something was very attractive at one point. It looked good, it sounded good, it felt good. It was the wrong choice. Again, this person's like underwater, it feels like. This, this is all happening, I feel. This was all uh, underneath the surface this wasn't out in the open or maybe uh this was not being seen very clearly at the time can i get one more for the moon reverse now i don't know if this is you know how someone feels about you this person or if this is this person's energy maybe this is how they presented themselves or this is how they present themselves now tell me about the moon reverse maybe they were distracted by something shiny and pretty and, and you know it, it just wasn't the case Let's see. Tell me about the moon reverse. 
I get one more. This one. Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. This was not a good choice. It didn't lead anywhere. Something didn't manifest, didn't happen with the Ace of Wands reverse. Tell me about this star reverse. This is a uh, feeling hopeless, um, needing faith, uh, losing hope, losing faith, needing a lot of healing. Why is this star reverse? Six of swords reverse. Why? Is, okay, they want you to return, I feel. The world. A new beginning, a new cycle. Either they want to return to you or they want you to return to them. Can I get one more for this star reverse? The sun reverse. Something's hidden here. Either they're not expressing this or they're hiding something. Uh, I have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. You know, if this is a reunion, they're hiding that. They're hiding how they feel. Um, you know, maybe this is exactly what they want. You know, there's a lot of love here with the queen of cups. Or this is some, there's someone else here. Let's get, let's get down to the new degree. Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? Five of Swords. I feel like this is deception. And then the Six of Cups. Past energy. Soulmate energy. Wanting to come home energy with the Six of Cups. I feel like this person's hiding something. I don't know if it's from you or from someone else. But there is deception here. Conflict. Someone's not telling you everything. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Death Reverse. Oh, interesting. I have the King of Cups. I think this is someone that is because of how they feel, their emotions are tied up here. So what I'm trying to say is they might be strategic. They might be deceptive because of their emotions. So, you know, because they're emotionally involved, invested. Um, the death card reverse, this is Scorpio energy. This is someone that's resisting an ending, resisting a change. Tell me more about the five of swords. It's like they're trying to... How do I say this? They're trying to take advantage of a situation or trying to be extremely strategic so that they don't lose something. Two of Pentacles and then the Tower Reverse. Yeah, and I, I feel like this, either this is affecting two people or involves two different things. Maybe they're trying to still figure out how to do this. Yes, this is going to be some sort of offer. Okay, so th this is what I'm getting. I feel like this is someone who they they know that there's something here that they screwed up on. Because I have the Ace of Wands reverse. I have the Devil of the Moon reverse. Um, they want a new beginning here. They, have, they want a new beginning. They want to close a chapter, start a new one, right? Um, I feel like this is tied to you, tied to a situation that might feel hopeless. Um, they want to make some sort of offer here or have some sort of opportunity, but in order to do that, for some reason, they feel like they need to not be completely honest or be extremely strategic here because the chances of failure are high. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so what would they tell you if they had the chance? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about you? Let me use my secret moon oracles here. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? I'm heartbroken. Yeah, there's something emotions. Their, their emotions are very um, 
have a major part to play here. I can't let you go. Yes, I feel like they want you back. Bottom of the deck, I wasn't honest with you. Exactly. So I feel like this, this they want you back or they, they want you to return or they want to return to you. One of those, you know? I, I am seeing that here. So where is all of this headed in the near future? I'm going to pick a couple cards here. Let's see, what is happening here in the net and the near future spirit where is all of this headed in the near future for Aquarius and this other person where's all of this headed wow we got the knight of pentacles yes so this there's definitely an offer on its way to you an opportunity here where's all of this headed wow we got the lovers Gemini energy yeah, you'll have to make a choice. Either this is a very special connection or this is you needing to make a decision between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. What is your intuition telling you, you know? Could be dealing with a Gemini. I have a lot of uh, signs here though. So it could be, you know, multiple signs. Where's all of this headed in the near future? Where's all of this headed? Page of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. To the bottom of the deck. The Magician. Interesting. I feel like this is going to be a long time. Like it's going to be a process. Um, this is going to take time. With the Page of Pentacles reverse, it's almost, you know what I'm picking up here? Okay, I'm picking up uh, two messages. So take it as it resonates, Aquarius. The first message I'm getting is some of you are getting some sort of other opportunity and you're gonna reject this one. That's what I'm getting. A lot of you could be, you know, it could be a different opportunity. It could be another person. It could be a, a job opportunity, a moving opportunity, something. Something I feel is coming your way. I feel like this is something you've been waiting for a long time or took a long time to get to you. And I think you're going to recognize that and you're going to reject this other offer, offer here from this person. That's the first message that I'm getting. And for those of you, if that's resonating for you, um, it's because your intuition is telling you to reject it. And you're going to listen this time because I think at one point you didn't. For others of you, I feel like this person is promising more than they can deliver. So if this is an offer from this person, I think at first it's gonna look very good. And it might even be exactly the offer you were wanting here with the lovers. It could be a genuine offer because the Knight of Pentacles does not play around, you know? It could be a genuine offer, but there's gonna be either a loss for this person or they can't deliver right away. That's what I'm seeing, for whatever reason. That's why they're being so strategic. They can't let you go. So they're thinking, how can I keep Aquarius? How can I get, get them back, right? You know, I need to appear. I am my best foot forward, right? But there's something else here. It's like, you know, maybe their best foot forward is an illusion at first. Or maybe it's going to take more time for them to really deliver on what they've promised. Something like that. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you enjoy this reading and want to see more, then click the like button and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and, and once again, thank you to everyone who continues to watch the readings. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.